Okay, our state has two uh, gone two years without a budget. And the longer that lawmakers in Springfield take to come to an agreement, the worse things will get for many people in Chicago and all across Illinois. So AARP is spearheading a campaign right now called Enough is Enough that you can participate in. Let's take a look at some simple suggestions to the big budget problems of our state. What I would like to say to our representatives is um, hold true to your ideals, but also at the same time be willing to compromise because um, we all need different things out here. Um, and that's just it, you know, be willing to compromise. It is very frustrating. I have family that works in government, so, um, but yeah, work, you know, we got to work together, cross the aisles and work together to, to find a solution. I believe that Speaker Michael Madden is holding up the voting process with our governor to come up with a plan that benefits those individuals in our state that are at the most vulnerable. And for that reason, um, we are going to have this stalemate until Governor Rauner can compromise. I feel like they, the politicians tend to go for the easy win, the sort of the small victories as opposed to doing any sort of major overhaul, bringing in any big businesses to the city, to the state, that sort of thing. I think attracting new businesses might help increase the revenue that we're sorely lacking. I would tell them to get off their tails and get up and do something. You see your people out here struggling. Um, you see that people are losing their jobs. They need food to eat. They have to feed their children and everything. You see that your people need help. So I think they should get up off their tails and do some work. Find, find a way to do something. They need to, to work together. They need to do something for all of us here in the state of Illinois. We, we need to get back to work. We're so in debt for the state. Everything is going up. Prices are sky high. It's horrible. So many of my friends have moved out of the state because they're done and they're just giving up, which is really, really sad. Get to work, roll your sleeves up, get to work, and get it done. It's just as simple. Get it done. Yeah, just everybody thinks now. the same wow. thing. Okay, so Bob Gallo, the state director for AARP Illinois, is joining us now to tell us more about this campaign and what we can do. So clearly something happened where you're like, enough is enough. So what's been going on that really led you to, I mean, aside from the obvious here, I guess. Well, this, is, this has been affecting individuals for a long time. And if you don't think it's going to, if you don't think it's affected you, it's going to. It's gone on too long. The state has not passed a balanced budget, as you uh, mentioned, in, in two years. Mm -hmm. um, social service providers who provide the services for the state are closing their doors. With, um, programs like breast and cervical cancer treatment for early detection mm -hmm. have been eliminated. Domestic violence shelters are closing. Uh, seniors who are used to getting meals seven days a week, in some cases, are getting them one day a week. Oh, oh my goodness. And the state has, on top of that, $10 billion of unpaid bills. And the colleges, too, because you have that listed yep. there. Yeah, colleges are, are feeling the pinch. You know, um, students and programs are starting to um, close at certain colleges as well. You know, and so it's gotten to the point where if you said enough is enough, and we need legislators to do their job. Your elected officials right now are getting paid for doing nothing. Now, there has been a little progress in the last couple of days since they came back from the last session. It looked like there was progress, and then today they were saying Look at Bob's that face. They, they've, they've rolled back. I mean, but, but it, how does this affect the campaign? Uh, and, and how does it, is, is that an, enough progress? There, there's, no? there's movement in the Senate you know, to basically find what they call new revenue. It's a tax increase, an increase on fees. A, a various different schemes are being passed back and forth. The House has not come to a conclusion on what they would agree to. So you think uh, it's smoke and mirrors? Well, I don't point? know that it's smoke and mirrors. At least they're talking, at least the Senate leadership, the Senate leaders, Republicans and Democrats have come together and said, we have to do something. Let's compromise. So there's no compromise. But what we need people to do right now is to call their representative and okay. say, I voted for you, or you're you're supposed to be representing my interests, not the not the interest of your, what you're calling your leaders. Mm -hmm. What's your plan to fix this and do something? So mm -hmm. you, I mean, it's so you basically want us to get out there. It's like President Obama had said formerly. President Obama said to grab the clipboard and get there and, and call and show up and make some noise. Right, because um, if you, if 
if your elected official is going to sit on their hands and wait for someone else to make a decision, nothing's going to get done, and that's what's happened so far. Nothing has gotten done. Mm -hmm. And if something doesn't happen soon, what other kind of fallout are we looking at from not having a budget? I, well, we're seeing the fallout now. When you see violence pre prevention programs in the city of Chicago, yeah. Yeah that have are unfunded. It's all related to what's not happening in Springfield. What's happening in your community, what's happening in your neighborhood, what's happening in your schools or your universities is a result of nothing happening in Springfield. Mm -hmm. Wow, all right. Well, thank you so much for reminding everybody to get and yeah. stay involved because I think it's one of those things where we think we don't have power and actually we are the ones with power. We as have a lot of power it. and the listeners here have a lot of power as well. Okay. And there you go. If you want to learn more about AARP's campaign in Springfield called Enough is Enough, head to aarp.org slash Chicago or call 866-448-3613. You can also follow them on Twitter, Instagram, and their Facebook page.